Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's sunny, but that's about the only good thing happening today. So we are in a major cold snap across North America. Where we are right now, it is officially minus 17, minus 27 with a wind chill. My hands are getting really cold feeling this, and I'm pretty immune to cold. Um, but yeah, it's not fun. It's, 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 it's cold. Um, so I'm gonna show you just what it's like on the inside, um, what van life is like in the winter time because I don't see a lot of videos on this and it is very, very cold. So if you've never followed me before, um, I'm very fortunate that we're living in my dad's driveway right now. Um, we've got external power plug. I installed this before I installed anything else. Um, so we have shore power. Um, this is the exhaust for my diesel heater. Um, but yeah, it's just generally pretty, it's not a super, this is not the van life videos they show you. Um, I have a collapsible ladder. This is my dad's just because we've been clearing, clearing off the um, solar panels quite a bit lately because of the snow. But thankfully it's going to be a nice sunny day and we'll get some power going so we can power our diesel heater. All right, here she is from outside. Um, this door has actually not so much frozen shut here, but this guy, a few times I've had a couple close calls where it scared me that it's frozen shut. Thankfully it's open. But welcome to my... Frozen Wonderland. Hi, Winston. Good boy. So we don't need to go anywhere, but I doubt we would. This thing's a 92. It's been pretty reliable so far. Um, but with just the temperature, we don't have to go anywhere, but I doubt she'd start. So it's kind of good that we're staying put. But if you look, like, this thing is a frozen winter wonderland just everywhere. Hi, Winston. Pretty. There's no insulation in here. Like, I don't think I could. Like, I can't put that foam. What's that stuff? I'll put the new it. I'll remember it. But um, the stuff that people put in their windows, I can't. I can't really insulate it. It's just bare metal. There really is no point. And this is the pass through. If you follow me, you know what it is. But one of the huge perks of the box truck is to have my little secret entrance. Um, there is a significant temperature difference, obviously, with here um, just being insulated and having no real source of heat. Uh, I can close this door and off and do it at night, both for privacy and for heat. It's just plain wood. I really should have insulated it or done something with it, but it does okay. Um, I've got my little curtain is where, there as well, so this is kind of like the freezer. And really, I've been debating using it as one because realistically, I could. Um, keep some frozen stuff in here in the winter time, but for now this is like the cold uh, Medium and then warm because there's a heat source there one thing. I want to be really To anyone who's new to this or will be heading into winter at some point Your solar batteries whether they're lithium-ion uh, lead acid Better view of my janky shitty setup um, Batteries particularly lithium-ion um, their ideal operating temperature is around uh, 15 degrees Celsius. I'll put what it is in Fahrenheit up in a second. Anything below that, they lose a bit of efficiency. The manufacturer says you should not use them in zero degrees Celsius or below. You can charge them in, I believe, up to minus 15. Usage. So that is my huge, that's my biggest priority. As much as I like keeping warm, and staying warm in here. My biggest reason for keeping these warm and happy and keeping the heat on at night, hi Winston, is so that I can run my diesel heater. Because if it goes zero or below or, okay, sorry about that. Um, below zero, we're not using battery. So I try and keep it minimum five degrees. That's what it was this morning when I woke up. Even with the diesel heater running on low all night, uh, um, it barely kept it at five. And that was at my, where my um, temperature monitor is, which is about eye level um, of where I'm at. So I have no doubt that these floors, there's nothing underneath these floors. Like they're insulated. I've, I've put down insulation, but you think there's nothing but a river of cold air flowing underneath this truck. There's a three or four feet of distance between this and the ground, nothing but cold air. So they are quite cold. So I'm guessing these are fairly close to zero. I don't love that, but um, we run our heater up pretty good. We're at about 15 in the main cabin. But like I said, just be very careful with your batteries. One thing I might do is if you've ever seen one of those um, germination seedling mat heat mats, I might get one of those and put it underneath. 
The only problem is they tend to run at about 20 to 30 degrees Celsius, which I don't want an external heat source, especially like some piece of shit. I don't know where it was made thing. I really don't want to heat these batteries. I want to keep them at a reasonable temperature, warm between five and 10 degrees Celsius, maybe 15 on the odd. So um, some of them have built-in thermostats, so I might do that down the line. For now, we're just keeping things um, semi-warm, but just take care of your batteries. They're not cheap and they are a pretty integral part of at least my system, probably yours too. So let's go to the main cab. All right, so there's my little safety door. Like I said, that's not windproof. <laughs> keep anything out, but it's better than nothing. And I also have my little privacy curtain. So like I said, this does a decent job of forming a bit of a thermal barrier. It's not perfect, but um, this is our main heat source right now because we're plugged in. There's a space heater. It's on low. We're just keeping a decent ambient temperature. Um, it's dropped. It was up to 15 with my diesel heater running. It's now 10. Um, diesel heater is doing okay. It uses, I want to say on low, about, you can see the little indicator lines. Um, when I go to sleep and turn on on low, and that's usually where it is in the morning, it has a one gallon capacity. So about two liters a day. Diesel right now where I am is about a buck 60. So $3 to keep reasonably warm at night is pretty good. Um, I also have my Mr. Buddy going. So we have a space heater and a Mr. Buddy going and it's only 10 degrees in here. So that just kind of shows you how cold it is. Um, this thing, no heat. I found it's about five degrees warmer than the ambient temperature outside. Um, it's not fantastically insulated. It's a job I still need to finish, but right now we're just focused on staying warm and safe. Also, you wanna know how cold it got in here last night? Sorry, Winnie. <laughs> Um, I've added water to this, but this thing was actually frozen solid despite it being quote unquote five degrees. Um, yeah, this thing, like I said, don't at me. I know how poorly insulated it is. It's not awesome. Hi, Lenny. Um, but like, this is sheet metal. This is not awesome. Um, so you're going to get a lot of condensation in this thing. It's just the nature of the beast. Um, Again, a proper person would have done this and finished this properly. You probably wouldn't have this problem, but we're just breathing. This is all just from breathing. It's like that part in Apollo 13 where they lost the heat for a couple days. It's just how it goes. So this was at about um, 70, 65-ish last night. Um, I have a 200 amp hour battery bank this uses about 100 watts during startup and about 20 watts um an hour for just regular running on low but as i said the diesel heater needs power to run so i'm always very very careful about this because it will eat up your battery i usually lose between five and ten percent per night again with these things being cold i'm sure that's affected the battery efficiency quite a bit but there's a reason why i a have backups and like my cooking and stuff offline cooking Electrically with solar to me is bonkers because induction burners and even a little stovetop like dorm burner use huge amounts of electricity. So, absolutely happy with my propane burner and this little Coleman stove treats me pretty happy. But, um, yeah, always have backups because, like I said, uh, diesel heater unfortunately requires electricity, it's cheap to run, but if you have some not sunny days in a row, we're lucky that it's cold but sunny. Um, and this bad boy, it does an okay job. It doesn't spread heat around, but it definitely keeps it at a livable temperature. And you get from a 20 pound propane tank, I think on the manufacturer's website, between 80 and 84 hours on low, which is what we keep it on. So that's almost two weeks at eight hours a day for 20 bucks and offline completely just works. And it's kind of messy cause we just woke up, but um, this is our bed, nothing crazy. This little guy is my own little space heater. I'm his space heater, but we've got our little blanket. Um, we've got a sleeping bag. We get pretty snugly and we're pretty happy. Um, we've never ever felt super, super cold, but then again, it also hasn't been super cold yet. So good boy. Look at that face. You are such a cutie cut. You're the face of this account, Winston. You don't even know it. That's why we're called the Winnie Bago, by the way, this guy. 
that's about it. Um, I don't really have any tips, tips or hacks. Just if you're building this, it can be a fine line because in summer, even with this poor insulation, when it was getting up to like 25, 30 degrees, it was brutal. This thing was probably 10 degrees hotter than it was outside. And really, realistically, with solar, running an air conditioner is not a huge option. Um, one of the reasons I'm glad, glad I kept the roll-up door was I rolled that up with a huge box fan where this was blowing outside, but it still got quite hot in here. So it's not like a house you have to be really careful with how you're going to insulate. Because if thing was properly insulated, it would be brutal in summertime. So um, it's always going to be a trade-off. Anyways, thanks for watching my video. If you are winter camping, whether you, you want to or not, um, I hope you guys stay safe. And if you're building, you're doing a build, these are just some things to consider and some info for you if you have to be in the situation in some day in the future.